Feed the boy. Rasmus Hoyland's goal drought in the English Premier League is becoming alarming. Welcome to the United Hotspot. This is the official Eric Ten Hag press conference reaction. I'll tell you why I think Eric Ten Hag is the reason why Rasmus Hoyland is yet to score a goal in the Premier League, but also give you an update on what he has said concerning our injury situation. Welcome to the United Hotspot. My name is Webb. Starting off straight into it, 7th against 9th. That's the situation we are in tomorrow. Away from Old Trafford, traveling all the way from Manchester to London to take on West Ham without a couple of players. There is not so much news to celebrate in terms of injuries. Victor Lindelof is out. Harry Maguire is out. Of course, the rest we know. Casemiro, Lissandro Martinez, Mason Mount, and Co. They are all out of the game, but that shouldn't be a concern because we've got enough players. Bruno Fernandes is back. Marcus Rashford is there. I'm not sure we are so excited about Rashford and his return, but most of the fit players, I think, are enough to ensure that Rasmus Hoyland gets his first Premier League goal. But what is the problem? For me, here's the thing. I think after listening to Eric Ten Hag and he was asked about the goal drought and why it is taking so long uh, for Rasmus Hoyland to register his first goal in the Premier League, yet everyone acknowledges the potential this boy has. Now, Ten Hag's answers have been trying to analyze the reason why Rasmus Hoyland has failed to find the back of the net in the Premier League. And in my analysis, I was, uh, I was adding what I see on the pitch, how the team plays, but also listen to Eric Ten Hag and his philosophy. Ten Hag in the pre-match press conference said, we know, all know his philosophy that he wants to attack with 11 players, from the goalkeeper to everyone, which is good. But I'm getting a feeling that Eric Ten Hag is actually confusing his players, and this is the reason why we are not have, getting balls to Rasmus Hoyland. We don't seem to play with a target. There is no focal point in our play. So we are attacking with 11 players, hoping that a goal can come from anyone, probably Andre Onana even. I think Eric Ten Hag is hoping for anyone to score a goal, even when he has got a 70, 72 million pounds striker. Now, for me, and I've been saying this consistently, that part of the reasons why we are not scoring goals is because Eric Ten Hag, does not train, probably does not train these players to get the ball to Rasmus Hoyland. And I want to get a chance to watch the training sessions of Manchester United. I haven't. But we don't seem to have a focal point in our training. We seem to have a manager who is so fascinated about attacking from with everyone, like he, he admitted himself, he wants to attack with 11 players, but without a focal point. Now, there are advantages to that. There are big disadvantages to that. First of all, back in the last season, before we had Rasmus Hoyland, when we were playing with a false nine in Marcus Rashford at times, and Anthony Martial, uh, Martial for me was a bit a false nine because he's never your natural exciting number nine. In fact, if anything, Martial as well seems to look a bit better flying off from the left than as a number nine. So last season, when we were playing with a false nine, it worked because we had no target. We had no striker. But when you have a striker like Rasmus Hoyland, who has got the potential to score so many goals, imagine having Erling Haaland, Raul Gonzalez, Rod Van Nestroy, but you're expecting your goals to come from anyone. You certainly expose them. You will make them look weak. So for me, the problem that Manchester United has is we have a manager whose philosophy of attacking is good, but the way we execute it does not have a focal point. So you have a good finisher, a world-class striker, but there is no one who gets the ball to him. Our training should be when we build from Onana, how are we going to pass this ball around and get it to Hoyland? That should be for me. That's the focal point I'm talking about. But Eric Ten Hag seems to want players to just pass the ball and hope a goal can fly in from Ganacho, from Anthony. And he mentioned these names from Scott McTominay, from Bruno Fernandes. And for me, that is where the problem is. I've just, and Eric Ten Hag just confirmed what I've been telling you here, that he wants, and he even mentioned the names himself, that I, when the, the journalist asked him about the, this goal drought, he was talking about not just Hoyland, he was talking about Bruno Fernandes, Scott McTominay, Anthony Ganacho, Marcus Rashford, all these players having a responsibility to score goals. Now, I don't think that is a good way to manage because there is no decentralization. That is why 
for us fans, we will be feeling like Scott McTominay is not doing enough when he's deployed as a number eight. But Eric Ten Hag will be happy with him because he has scored a goal or two. Now, that is for me, I think, a point of disparity. Whereas that is Eric Ten Hag's uh, philosophy, I think it can be improved because in the Champions League, why Rasmus Hoyland scores goals is we seem then in the games he has scored goals, they are. I don't know whether that has been intentional, but you would see that the, he was a focus. The end game was to get the ball to him. And when you got the ball to him, he has not let us down, he has scored. In the Premier League, Eric Ten Hag, I don't know whether the strategy changes, but we seem to be just playing, hoping for goals to come from anyone. Now, that is okay last season when you don't have a natural striker, but you don't sign a 72 million pound striker and you still hope for goals to come from Bruno Fernandes, from Scott McTominay, from Anthony. You should be expecting Bruno Fernandes to play that killer Ozil pass, Anthony to come in from the wing and cut back and look for, raise, put his head up and look for Rasmus Hoyland. You should be expecting Marcus Rashford to find Rasmus Hoyland. Now, their goals should be at the add-ons on what Hoyland is scoring, but your game plan should be to try and feed Rasmus Hoyland. That is why Manchester City, when they have Erling Haaland, when they have had Sergio Aguero, the game plan has been simple. Get the ball to Aguero. Get the ball. And even when they had so many players who would score goals, they still had a powerful number nine, and their job was to get the ball to him. Get the ball to Haaland. That is why Erling Haaland is scoring goals for fun. For me, clearly, Rasmus Hoyland is being let down by not just the players, but it, is, it seems to be from the manager. You can imagine if the manager comes out in the press conference and is telling us that it's not just Rasmus Hoyland mentioning all these players, when Rasmus Hoyland is yet to score a single goal, then probably he's not bothered. It doesn't worry him that Hoyland is not scoring. So long as Scott will score and the game will end 3-3 or 3-2 or, you know, there is a goal from anyone, for him there is no problem. So Hoyland can as well be there and then he, he will as if become, he's being played as a false nine, yet he's a natural number nine, he's a striker. So clearly the problem is glaring now. The reason why Hoyland is not getting balls is because Eric Ten Hag does not train his players to get the ball to Rasmus Hoyland. He rather expects them to just attack. In my local language, it's called Luganda. We call it Muawa. I don't know how that is called in English. Muawa is, I think, maybe haphazardly, you know, without a, a poker, just, you know, from anywhere. Do things haphazardly and hope for a goal from anyone. Now, that does not work when you have a 72 million pound striker like Rasmus Hoyland. The strategy should be build from Onana, but the end game is to try and pick Rasmus Hoyland. If you fail, it is okay for Marcus Rashford, Anthony, and whoever to score goals, but that shouldn't be the game plan. The game plan should be, how do we get the ball to Hoyland? So clearly, the reason why the dubious stats came out, that Rasmus Hoyland is the least fed striker of all starting strikers, is a tactical thing. So we are blaming these players for not assisting Hoyland, but the manager doesn't need them to assist. If anything, he wants them to score. So for him, it is okay. We are doing well. I don't think that looks good. And that's, again, the tactical reservations I will keep pinpointing about Eric Ten Hag. Hotspot, subscribe. My name is Webb. Feed Rasmus Hoyland. Before we say he's failed, we've got to feed him. But clearly, the man who bought him for 72 million pounds doesn't seem to want to feed him. And we're talking about signing another striker. Think about it. Doesn't make sense.